Sit Ludo, I come to you live from my basement. Last time on our Let's Play, we got into a little trouble with the black Jamaican things and got dragged away into jail. We broke out, met a little limp, and found out the whole reason why this thing is happening because, uh, from Zelda. In this Let's Play, uh, well, I ran into a bit of trouble. So, I guess the only way to really explain this is through flashbacks. Ah, uh, it is so nice to be free of that annoying imp and free of the evil black squares, rat squids, giant man-eating vultures or wolf-eating vultures, and especially Midna, or Minda, eh, whatever. So, let's get going. Uh, Oh, no, wait. No, no, no! Crap. No, what makes you think that? Um, I didn't... Piggy is my pond that we have. He my... Pug my bones won't be rusty, you ya big bow. I swear it be rusty, what be kid with ya big? Page to a ye from big. Well, you're using words. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So Midna's gonna be a complete jerk again. And we're gonna be complete thickheads. Again. The lifters again. I don't know if we already did it already, but... Already did it already, it's not proper grammar either. We sure are thickheads in grammar. We're gonna be thickheads again. Fine, fine, fine. If you try and do that again, she'll do the uh, same thing she just did, but we're going to go back to town as a wolf. Wait until they get a glimpse at me. So, ah, uh, Moblins. These are some of my favorite villains in the game because there's so many things you can do with them. Well, not really, but I mean, you could like pretend, but uh, that wasn't as dramatic as I thought it would be, but I'm just gonna walk in here. Okay, so I don't think any of you really noticed this, but if you look, well, have noticed this, but if you look in the shadow, which if it would stop moving would be nice, there's Midna in the shadow. I just realized this. And it was just a really cool feature I never realized until now. Well, I just didn't think the game designers would be uh, willing enough to do that because it would have taken a lot of time. And it definitely does make this game better. Even if you don't realize it, it's a really nice feature. Oh well. We're gonna get going. Wait. Oh boy. It's a squirrel! So that squirrel did not give us a very bad bit of information that will be helpful to talk to animals. Not the entire game, just pretty much certain parts. But as for now, it'll be very helpful. So before you do anything, or before I will do anything, talk to this chicken. Yeah, chicken. Tell us, or else we'll eat you. Okay, so that wasn't a bad idea either. Oh, about that squirrel over there. My mom uh, and her sister and my uncle, while they, we were on vacation, 
caught a picture of a squirrel on top of a trash can eating a french fry. How cool is that? I mean, seriously. He was like nibbling on, on, eh, nibbling on it in a very civilized feature. I mean, I'll just show you at the end of the episode. It looks really funny. When I first saw it, I didn't think it was like real. And I thought, how did you get that picture? This is something online, right? Um, there, got it. So I just wanted to break open the pumpkin for the heck of it. Well, okay, so those guys were big fat babies who didn't want to stay near us. We're going to grab a ruby. Now, they magically appear. Hey, did the monsters leave? Oh, I think they scattered. Dang it, the puppy's next to me. It's revealing my location. Bad puppy, go somewhere else. Okay, so you gotta hide in the grass while you listen to those guys. Well, not while, to listen to the guys. Okay, we're going to talk to this puppy. Yeah, we're not going to talk to puppies much in the game. We're going to talk to kittens some more even. What? Wait, what? I I haven't even met you once in wolf form. I never have realized how big that moon is. It's like really big and pretty actually. No! Okay, so the eagle will hurt you. It's not like other game concepts where like if you run into a wall, it'll just be annoying. So, that cat was very smart in thinking about that. So, I am going to do something that you could do throughout the game, even. Well, once you get the ability. I just love it how it takes him like two seconds to actually find out I'm right behind him and then when he does realize he's like wait what no so if you click a next to grass you could do this pretty cool ability if you do this next to some grass it won't do anything no 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 wait wait I got that confused. In human form, if you do it next to some grass, it won't do anything. Okay, we are uh, not gonna use that ability at all in the game. Not like never, I mean, just not a lot. Okay, so as Midna said, this village is full of it idiots. Idioms of idiots. And for some reason, the woman who was supposed to be in here is gone. No idea why. I mean, it's a really bad idea to let her out, especially, like, in under circumstances. Well, not let her out, just to go anywhere. Found it, found it. I found it before you did. Okay. 
So I got stuck here for like five minutes when I originally played this game for myself. Then I got angry and I ran into the wall. And boom. You got a shield. So if we walk over here, pick it up. We got an Ordon shield. We made you die. Yeah, a little cheap. I mean, it wasn't finished, so. So, I'm curious as to why the Ordon shield wasn't finished. Like, this guy gets all his time. Wait. Okay, so somehow we heard them from all the way over here, and, well, as I was saying, that guy never finished the shield, as it already said in the game, but, I mean, Link was going to get going to the village, you know, really soon and all that, I mean, Castletown, and the shield wasn't done the night before I was going to leave. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous, if you ask me. But, I'm going to continue. <gasps> Give me the sword. Okay, never mind. Yeah, another thing that will hurt us in this village. Okay, so I love it how the chicken, like, makes some really weird guess and phrase. Like that. And I mean, you know, the chicken had it all planned out, and yet, it, it was just messing around with us. Ant frogs. Um, some people will, I bet, will just come over here, walk through, and realize, hey, there's yellow arrows, oh well, and just walk past it. Well, I was lucky enough to click A while I was walking around those yellow arrows. So, as the chicken was also talking about, over here, how the ground was soft. Let's dig right in that one little area there. Can't do it anywhere else. Yes. The sword. Okay, so, as she said, no more detours. We are going to get on the road. And on our way to the Twilight. Least favorite place on Earth. Oh, well. Ooh, wait, I got this. Let's wolf down a pumpkin and a chicken at the same time. Wolf down, you get it? Funny? Eh. It, it was funnier in my head. Yeah. Uh, so he found me. Yeah, I jumped over his head. How cool is that? Oh well. Unfortunately, uh, moblins, or mob goblins, whatever they're called, leave after the first time you kill them. You don't even need to kill them and they'll go away. It's kind of depressing that this town is so peaceful. I mean, there really has to be some danger when you're in human form. Besides, like, jumping off trees and stuff. And committing suicide, but... Whole nother story. So, let's get on our way. Wait. It's another squirrel! No, wait, this ain't your spring. What's up with this thing? Wait, how do you know that? Come on, show yourself, squirrel. Okay, I underestimated the squirrel just a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's really helpful. Okay, so we get to get our revenge on the black, poofy-haired things. So, 
jump at it and taste like chicken. I'm gonna name you Jill. See you, Jill. I'm gonna see if I can name all these weird black goofy hair things. I'm gonna name that one Jill. The next one I'm gonna name Bob. Okay, so, just another regular day. So, we should take that thing's advice and save all the light spirits. But, we are to save that until next time. So, until next time, this is Sit Ludo coming to you live from my basement. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.